What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at how you can get outside the helm but also having a good look around of this space too. So if you want to find out if there's any rooms behind these doors then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video be sure to leave a rating and comment down below. Huge shout out to Spider Prime, Ellis, Silas, Thomas and Irix. If you leave a comment in the first hour of the video going live you have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. So if you want to be one of them guys and get a shout out in my next video be sure to leave a comment down below. Now, if you are new here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content as well, then be sure to hit subscribe. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, first things first, credit where credit is due, and a huge shout out to Froggy and JB3, whose help and knowledge made this video all possible. Froggy has made a guide as well and was the first to get outside the helm. I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. And JB3 has also got a video showing outside the helm. So if you want to check out both of those videos, I'll leave the links to both of them down in the video description below. Now, to kick this glitch off, you first need to create a spawn point over by the crow in the helm. You can do this by standing in the location for around 10 seconds, and this should be long enough to create a a spawn point now from here we need to make our way over to the window at the opposite end of the helm but to get there we need to avoid touching the floor as often as possible the reason for this is so we don't reset the spawn point we've just created as it's going to be absolutely key to the next part of the glitch now this can be performed on any class you just need to make sure you're staying in the air as often as possible now once you've reached the windows you need to pull out your ghost and this will quickly allow you to fire off your kinetic weapon we're using mountaintop as a way of taking ourselves out and you'll be able to reload this and fire a second shot too this will spawn you back at the crow now by doing this we can now freely fire our weapons now for the next part of our glitch we're using salvation's grip now we need to fire off a single round in this part of the helm as once we leave this area the only way to fire salvation's grip is directly after a reload now we want to quickly make our way back over towards the window once again avoiding touching the floor as often as possible and once here we want to time our jump so we can reload our salvation's grip so it's primed and ready to fire at the white pillar on the left now you do want to aim quite high up on the pillar high enough so you can stand and eventually crouch on top of the stasis on the wall and once you're crouched you want to look up to the ceiling and once again we're going to be using the reload to allow us to fire the salvation's grip at the ceiling now with our stasis in place we're going to be performing a crouch jump now the stasis is keeping us in the crouched position and from here you want to do a quick double jump on top of this outer section the key part here is to stay absolutely stuck to the wall on the left hand side now you can see how far you are on the left hand side by this nut here on the roof and use this as an indicator of your rough positioning now as you can see here i am pushing towards the wall at all times i highly recommend that you do this to stay absolutely as close to the outer edge of the helm as you possibly can now what we're doing right now is waiting for the stasis ice crystals to evaporate now we can hear this using the audio cues in game and once the stasis crystals have evaporated we can slightly look to the left once again ensuring we're always pushing forward towards the wall as we approach the edge this will push us right towards the window but we need to do a complete 180 and head back towards crow over at the far side of the helm once again we need to absolutely make sure we're touching the floor as little as we possibly can and once we reach the crow we can once again pull out our ghost and use our mountain top to take us out now this whole process is basically creating a spawn point on the upper outer wall section of the helm and if you perform it correctly your head should now be sticking outside the top of the helm now we're not quite done yet now your head is sticking outside of the helm we need to make sure we are fully outside the map you can do this by performing a simple double jump and this should be enough to get you outside the helm now we are stuck between two barriers right now we need to turn around and head back towards the crow going on the left side of this white section here after a little bit of wiggling we should be to escape those barriers and this has now released us outside of the helm and we are free to explore the space as we wish now a few other hints and tips as i said earlier this can be done on absolutely any class there's no restrictions there as for weapons mountain top is your best option in your kinetic slot and salvages salvo is another worthy alternative salvation's grip is absolutely required to pull this glitch off and prior to even attempting the glitch you'll need to rally a public event flag to ensure you have maximum ammo across all your weapons and to further help you out here you can add grenade launcher ammo reserves in order to make sure you're maximizing your ammo capacity now as far as we're aware this can be performed on any platform too now to further improve our chances of res breaching the roof of the helm 
I did limit my frames of the footage here to 30 frames per second. So if you are on PC, I highly recommend that you also limit your frames to 30 FPS until you're outside the helm. If you're on console, then the original PS4 and Xbox Ones will be your best options on performing this glitch. And last but no means least, whilst the positioning of the stasis crystals is absolutely important, the most important part of this entire glitch, thanks to JB3, is in fact staying as close to the edge as you possibly can, so much so that you're always pushing against it no matter your position on that outer top section. The moment that you pull away from the outer section of the helm in any way, then it's very unlikely you'll be able to perform a successful res breach. So those are all the hints and tips and the needs to know in terms of how to successfully perform this res breach in the helm off. But what is actually outside the helm and is there anything behind any of these doors? And the simple answer to this is no, there is nothing behind any of the doors inside the helm, not just yet anyway. There's a lot of space outside the helm though, as you'll see, so there's plenty of scope and scale if Bungie do decide to add additional rooms to the helm at a later date. Now from here on out I'm going to let some footage of me outside the helm exploring play from here on out. If you're not able to perform the glitch yourself be sure to enjoy the footage for the rest of the video. Now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating and comment as I said down below. And remember guys if you do leave a comment within the first hour of this video going live five of you will get a shout out in the next video. And once again if you are new here or you want to keep up with all the latest Destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and I will catch you all again very soon.